Dan Stapleton has performed magic all over the world, from Vegas and top cruise lines to Disney World to his own theater at Circus World in Orlando. He's also a respected magic historian. Now, tonight, he's going to demonstrate an illusion that's been amazing audiences for over a century. I'm always excited when we have magicians on the show because I never can figure out how they're going to do it. I probably can't tonight, but I'm going to try. Please join me in welcoming Dan Stapleton. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Around the 1920s, there was a famous illusionist by the name of Howard Thurston who made popular one of the greatest illusions of all time, the floating sphere. At this time, it gives me great pride and pleasure to present that same illusion, the floating ball. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm trying to figure it out, Dan. I haven't done it yet, so well, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you very much. And I brought something special for you, and I have to remove my jacket if you don't okay. mind. Oh, that's We're gonna get right. a little physical, Mike. Oh boy, this will be fun. Too yeah. bad Keith isn't in on this be, one. You're gonna be you're gonna be a part of this. All right. And uh, I have to make myself a little casual, and I'll tell you why. You know, Harry Houdini uh, died in 1926 on Halloween night. Mm, yeah. And so I thought it'd be appropriate to show you something taken out of the days of the famous escape artist Harry Houdini. Okay. Now I'm going to need the assistance of somebody from the audience as well. Mm. So if we could have anybody to come up, how about a big burly masculine guy because this is going to be pretty macho what you're about to see. Do we have someone? Do we have somebody? How about this gentleman right here? Let's, let's give him a nice round of oh, applause. Okay. How you doing? Nice I didn't even, I wasn't even watching. All right, and what is your name? Steve. Steve, nice to meet you. I'm Dan. Dan this is Mike, Mike, my friend Mike. Hello, Steve. <laughs> Welcome. All right. Any hard stuff, he gets it, okay? <laughs> That's right. Now, Harry Houdini, they would bound him in chains. They would put handcuffs on him. And it's been a few years since I've gotten out of handcuffs, but that's another story. Okay. Uh, and, and ropes. <laughs> and they said that he could walk through walls. Well, we're not going to do that here tonight. But I tell you what, flying up here, I wasn't sure that they would allow me to carry chains with me on the plane. Yeah. So I had one of your staff go out to the local hardware store and, and, and get a couple of 10-foot steel chains. And that's exactly what they are. They're just steel chains. In fact, you can take a look at them, pull on them, tug on them, do all you can. Mike, you can do this thing. Yeah. Oh, yes. You're Mike. I'm Mike. He's Steve. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Very good. Steve's a nice name. I should have had that one. All right. Now, what's going to happen? Oh, you can let them down for a second. Okay. Now, what's going to happen in just a minute, I'm going to walk right through these solid steel chains. Now, 
I'm not going to exactly walk through them, but you are going to pull the chains right through my body. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, we are. <laughs> now, when we do this, you're going to grasp one end and you're going to grasp the other end. And I don't want you to jerk on the chains like that because okay. you could lose a pinky. We don't want that. Oh, no, we don't do want it. that. All right? Yeah. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's have a little dramatic music. Okay. Stand back just a little bit. Okay. All right. Hand me one chain. Just one. Either one. Either huh? one. Okay. One for you. Very good. All right. Steve. Steve. All right. Grab onto both of them. Okay. okay. Together like this. Don't let go. When I say go, you pull. All right? Firm grip. Now! Ah! Whoa! Dan, that was, I, I, I'm standing right here. I don't know how that happened. But I know this, that if you want to see more of the astounding magic of Dan Stapleton, and I know that you do, here's how you do it. Go to Huckabee.tv. We are going to connect you to Dan Stapleton. And maybe you might even invite him to your community or your organization.